viewers, welcome to all of you to our weekly magazine program, Youth Folio, a series which encapsulates views on news, sports, careers, profiles of enterprising talented people and lots more from the eight amazing states of the Northeast. We shall start our episode with our current issues section. Nation prays for peace to Nido Tania's soul and urges government to enact anti-racial discrimination law. Nagaland raises cry for one government, one tax as protest against illegal taxation by underground groups. United Naga Council proposes for formation of a committee to examine their demands. Meghalaya to start more border hearts with Bangladesh. Tanker drivers go on strike in Manipur protesting against murders en route by miscreants. Youth of Manipur run for the nation. from different faiths of the country including religious heads and common people from different states of the country came together to show their solidarity and support the cry for justice for Nido during a memorial service and prayer meeting organized by the bereaved parents of Nido Tania at Jantar Mantar, New Delhi on the 15th of February. Mommy, don't scold me. You are the best mommy of the world. Bye. These were the last words spoken by Nido Tanya to his mother, she confided to the crowds in a choked voice even as the brave mother, Nido Marina, said that her fight is the fight against racism and for united India. She left many a people in tears even as she asked God to answer why he has given the Northeast people short eyes and flat nose. लोग का बात करने से मेरा बेटी का चौथी आंख है चौथी नाक है इसका क्या गलती है इसने चौथी आंख का चौथी नाक का उसको जवाब मेरा पास नहीं नोट इस लोग का पास नहीं देश बासियों इसका जवाब चौथी आंख मैं अपने सभी भारतीय लोगों से नस्ल बात की सोच के ऊपर उठकर एक ऐसे दर निरपेक्ष राष्ट्र के निर्माण का आह्वान करना करता हूं जहां प्रत्येक नागरिक शांति सौहार्द और सम्मान के साथ जी सके आइए हम सब समाज में मौजूद सभी प्रकार के नसलवाद को जल से मिटाने की शपथ लें नीडो मेरीना एंड हर हस्बैंड Tanya's father, Nido Pavitra, have met the Prime Minister and several other heads of the country and asked for capital punishment for the culprits, enactment of anti-racial law, sensitization of the police and inclusion of facts about the Northeast in school curriculum across India. The occasion witnessed religious heads of different faiths as also leaders from Arunachal Pradesh and other states of the country beseeching for tolerance, love and fraternity between people of different religions, castes, creeds and states. The Delhi choir comprising of youth from different states of the country paid their tribute to Nido Tanya both in English and Hindi. followed by the melodious Tankul Christian choir of Delhi who too sang out for the peace of Nido Tania's soul. Mean 
Meanwhile, representatives of the Northeast community of Delhi also held a meeting at Arunachal House, New Delhi, wherein several aspects of life in metropolitan cities were discussed. The meeting unanimously decided to set up five committees, including Legal Committee, Media and Publicity Committee, Research Committee, Event Management Committee, and Planning and Coordination Committee. Most people accumulated here said that they have received love and support from Delhiites as a whole and that a majority of people were good. We should reach out, we should continue to be a law-abiding citizen. We must love this country. We must, uh, you know, do what is the best. And I, I, I believe uh, there's nothing to fear. Uh, this incident uh, are some, not, it's happening, but, but not everyone is like that. Uh, we met some wonderful uh, uh, you know, not Indian brothers and sisters, especially in Delhi. And I have many good friends, you know, some are from Haryana, some are from UP, Bihar, and, and, and uh, you know, Himachal Pradesh, so and so forth, and wonderful people. So uh, we, should, we, should, we should not live in fear by all these few thugs that intimidate us out of their ignorance. And, but we should, you know, continue to love them, and we should, we should be also be sensitive to the culture here, I think. Uh, just like the saying goes, uh, if you are in Rome, act, act like a Roman. Additionally, a group of seven lawyers have moved a writ petition in Supreme Court asking the Apex Court to direct the central government to institute a special investigation team to look into cases of harassment of people from the Northeast. The Honourable Court has issued notice in the matter and the matter is listed after four weeks. Basically, we are asking for a set of guidelines till such time. Uh, that parliament passes a legislation against racial atrocities, discriminations. Because right now, there is no such law to protect us against racial discriminations. The central government, meanwhile, has formed a six-member committee to be headed by retired IAS officer Sri M.P. Bezbarua to look into the case in totality. While the committee is busy meeting a wide cross-section of people, certain sections of the populace had raised cries for the committee to be quashed and a new committee of judges to be constituted in place. Answering questions on the issue, Joint Secretary Northeast of Ministry of Home Affairs, Mr. Shambhu Singh said, The committee which has been appointed has already started working. There is an email account and suggestions are coming to it. Uh, as far as the demand for uh, uh, appointing a retired judge is concerned, process is not, not simple. You still have to get the clearance of the Chief Justice. And our recent experience has been that judges are very hard to come by. We have appointed certain committees by the Ministry and we haven't found any judge forthcoming. Uh, in one particular case, it is more than two months that any judge has been nominated. So we can't go on waiting indefinitely for a judge to be available to chair that committee and uh, then uh, make its recommendations. So I don't think, I mean, we don't get everything which we want. We have to arrive at a compromise position. And I don't think it is possible now to change the committee. Also, they had suggested some names. Uh, one person flatly refused. He doesn't want to be a part of the committee. Uh, there are a couple of other names, which, as per our reports, are really not very effective. Instead of being uh, constructive and coming out with positive suggestions, they are more into activism. Uh, it's more like raising the issues rather than finding the solution. Now, such people on a committee who are only likely to raise issues and not make any suggestion to arrive at a solution, 
well, it's not a very practical thing to do. Like Delhi, protests continued in other parts of the country, including in the northeast throughout the week. In Guwahati, the Northeast Students' Organization, a student body of the seven states, staged a sit-in protest near the Assam Raj Bhavan on the 14th of February, demanding justice for Nido and end to racism. The body asked the members of parliament from the Northeast to put pressure on the government to enact the anti-racial discrimination law and also work more for safety and security of Northeast students in Delhi. We may look different, but we are a part of India. And we have been showing ourselves as an Indian every moment when we get an opportunity. Today, Arunachal Pradesh is sitting in a place, in a position where we are sharing boundaries with three countries, namely China, then we are talking about Burma, then about Bhutan. But today we are not fighting against them. We are not fighting against aggression from outside the country. But we are fighting against aggression and discrimination within our own country. And this is a sad thing for us. Manipur, which had witnessed a counter-target of non-locals, wherein local people boycotted shops owned by non-locals and buying goods and services of the non-locals for a day, saw the non-locals rising not only to support call for justice for Nido Tania and framing of anti-racial laws, but also to request the local people to accept them as one of their own. Later, the Barbers Association of Manipur also held a press conference. Because the people who come from Manipur come from outside, from here too, so this is a situation like gang rape, what kind of situation, this is a situation that we are changing our country's name. That's why we want to request the Barbers Association of Manipur, that we are supporting our society.